I don't think there's a man who can actually fit to do like mm-hmm. Sudani even if you have money from Sijua I don't mm-hmm. think you can you can convince me mm-hmm. the way I've seen God's goodness in my life the mm-hmm. way I've seen him open doors mm-hmm. the way I've seen him make me meet people who I never thought I'd meet mm-hmm. the way he he opened doors that people just shut on your face because yes. they think mm-hmm. that you don't deserve mm-hmm. to be there mm-hmm. you're not it but he just goes around and opens it and to show them that I'm God and I'm behind her. Hello everybody, welcome to Sanana Mitindo here on Weber TV. Remember I am your boy Sumunani Duati, Isaac Barak. So today we have another inspiring amazing guest. We are wrapping up the series on queens in art with this beautiful amazing guest. She is none other than Harriet James she is a writer uh pale kwenye gazeti mkisoma pale nyumbani magazeti she is a very good writer uh, i got to meet her as a writer and today we have her on the show Harriet karibu sana kwa show asante yes, uh, you look amazing oh thanks leo leo niliamua sivai african so ukavaa kunishinda but it's all right karibu tu na ibaridi yes 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 uh-huh. so you can maybe someone is watching the show for the very first time you uh-huh. can introduce yourself on your camera Oh so I am um, Harriet um James is actually my you know my uh byline but oh. my real names are Harriet uh, Akinyi Owala uh-huh. um a writer content creator um someone's daughter of mm. course mm. and I love God Amen yeah. amen amen So Harriet mm-hmm. at you dinner pilo mesema nini Akinyi Owala Akinyi Owala Yes Akini is someone who is born in the morning. Yes, very early. I was born very early in the morning at 6. Eh. Nilikuwa niliamsha, nilikuwa jogoa. Hiyo siku. Niliamsha watu na kilio. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Harriet, where did you grow up? When you grow up wapi? Okay, mm-hmm. high school wapi primary? You can tell us. So I I was born here in Nairobi actually. Okay. Mwani. Mm-hmm. Um I, I grew up in Nairobi Sili. Mm-hmm. Um went to primary at uh, Rescos. Mm-hmm. Then high school at Moy Girls School mm-hmm. Nairobi. Mm-hmm. In Aboda Kibira Woodley Apo. Okay. And then we went to campus mm-hmm. at University of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Um I didn't study journalism actually. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. I, I studied thought... politics. <laughs> politics. Okay. <laughs> I studied politics and sociology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with a little bit of French. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, French. Mm. Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so French najua. Ila kwa maji France. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh sasa hapo sasa tunajua ukishamaliza campus sasa eh. ukimaliza campus unajua venye like people come out with high expectations yes. unaona ka NGOs na kuita sasa hiyo government yes. post eh. sasa hiyo unaweza kuwa CS yes. eh. then Nairobi gives you character the development <laughs> eh. yeah so um I didn't land in a job like like immediately I left campus uh-huh. and it was really tough it was i i it, you know the first job actually i had was uh i sold actually utensils is it okay. how yeah i did it because i didn't want to stay at home mm-hmm. i was like um let me let me go and you know s- send my cv probably i might just go to a, an office yes. alafu nione ka watu probably wanaweza mtu anaweza kuona room as mm. mtu anaka amesoma yeah. but lakini like, anatu I know I saw that as like an access yes. to offices. Mm. So so we sold those dishes. Kuna saw ulikuwa una get discarded unaenda Uhuru Park una unalala unasema eh hey maisha yanale. But we did that for like When was that? It was in 20 I mean it was there. Ndaka niambia tu si. Oh ta Around to 2010 na hapo 2010 yeah. oh, nice yeah, that's a long time I mean. so so around that time yeah. actually it was really tough so you meet your colleagues uh-huh. say wamepata watu unajua mababa zoni ma CEO wapi wapi wameunganishia job watu tutaki kuambia anything 
but I did that for uh, for like eight months. Uh -huh. And then I started writing, um, easy mm. to the academic papers, blah, yes. blah, blah. Mm. And your place ni kwa ikuwa ni nisa na ikuwa like, uwa msa ikuwa antu gonga. He makes, mm. he makes uh, the higher percentage of money mm. nyana wapewa mm. makombo. Mm. Sazina mm. na wadanganya pepa yu mekansoli and stuff kumbe anajua tu nina mefanya. Yes. But I did that, mm. like I did that diligently. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that like a door will just open somewhere yes so um to candy couple then you can another one another person in the academic writing mm -hmm. like mob yes uh, appear, but he was better off he was okay. he paid better than this other person mm -hmm. and then at that time like it was around 2011 2011 so my auntie uh my auntie ran a small tours and travel company mm -hmm. so nikaona wacha tu niandange nimsaidie like Yes. I idea too like I, I my heart was not into travel. Not just when you mind yam to a campo in a kwanga bado na ubado na yo igwenye na vunzwa na na roberi. So to kinda like so I started helping her out because I my mind was just like as I do as I help her out, probably yes. I just meet someone mm, who or help who will you. help me yeah. get a job. Yes. So and it wasn't like Manti was just probably giving me just fair, you know. Mm -hmm. The rest were sort, mm -hmm. but it was more of experiential for me. Yes. So from there is where I started learning about travels. Mm -hmm. Though bado kichwangu, unajua mungu anaweza kuwa na kudirect kwa kitu, but kitu wako iko iko to focus, but ka politics, but ka NGO. Yeah. You know, yeah. that is where I'm seeing myself. Mm -hmm. But mungu wako, but una character development inaendelea hapa. Mm -hmm. So I I helped her out actually. I I I started learning about travel, yes. you know, the industry. Mm. Then upon Nikanza ku I had a passion to write actually in the magazine. Every time Nikona magazines, Nikona newspaper, my yes. heart used to leap. Mm. Huh? Mm. But see Nikwa na chukia journalists because Nikwa nona ni watu wadaku san. Yes. So <laughs> so uh I I so um so something happened. I I met this guy. I like an online, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, an online magazine. Yes. So I started contributing there. I had my own blog actually. Mm -hmm. That niko na andika to rants. Okay. Um, I love ranting. Like I just loved talking about society, mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, because I feel um, I feel. We should have more sociologists in quotes. Yes. We should have people who think, like mm -hmm. who 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 um see what's right in it, like see the way forward in the society. Mm -hmm. Um and and I opted to rant. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Um and then um while still working, so we I did that with you know this guy. Yes. So I used to write for him travels, but I I, I never used to travel. Mm. I just used to we used to take like uh, whichever establishment we would see. Mm. Alafu na coin right. towards okay. na kapo Oh nice. But I didn't know that one day God will actually make that a reality. Wow. Mm. So I used to see it na sawa tu siku moja tu nita nita enda hapo hivyo nitaanza ku travel and then I would sometimes help my auntie with his, her clients to mm. na places mimi ndo naenda na lipa and stuff mm. but I never stepped in so I in the names that I would see on the checks mm. sasa jo lazima sa as an agent lazima wabukie blah 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 so yes. unaona tu dinaza moteli ilivigi uko tu like mm. one day I'll just be here kuna card mm. you know such mm. curiosity so um i after like uh, four years mm. four years mm. eh, kutoka 2011 baka 2014 apo yes uh, i quit my auntie's job mm -hmm. uh, because i got a new job uh, mm -hmm. which was a uh, a wedding and a wedding media house oh nice yeah nice. so mm -hmm. there i was the script writer of a reality show wedding reality show okay Yes. Uh, so, 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 <laughs> just in case to Boswango Askamalia and your, my former yeah. boss, but yeah. I, I, I appreciate the time mm. was there. Yes. It was Samantha's bridal actually. Ooh, wow, so yeah, wow, I drew. Wow. I was the Swiss writer for that show. Okay. And then there was another one called Happy Ever After. There yes. we just used to host like couples, mm -hmm. and and 
that's when I realized that I really want to write. Like oh, I just nice. want to do media yeah. stuff. Mm. So it was it was really fun traveling, you know, mm. documenting people, couples' weddings. Yes. I learned a lot about media. I learned mm. a lot from her. Like she was more or less like an authority in the wedding industry. Yes. So in as much as Hakuza Kunyambia, oh Harriet, come mm. here, let me mentor you. You know, there are mm. things you just pick up from someone. Yes. yes. And when you go, when when you take her to pitch for shows, when you mm. take her to do stuff, mm. um, you just learn mm. from mm. from there. Mm. And then now, mm. uh, how I started now in the newspaper. Yes. So there was uh, there was this uh, what is it called? It was it was more of um, like the tourism board wanted writers mm -hmm. uh, to write about like romantic destinations and all. Mm. So now my boss, you know, my, let me not say that lambda <laughs> yon, but like as uh, it's per norm in yes. every company, yes. like the boss always goes for trips, da da da. So yes. But this mm -hmm. time, mm. she allowed me to go for that trip. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so when 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 I went, mm -hmm. I I had zero experience. Yani ku kuka field. I could take, you know, I met journalists there, like when you're a coma, you know, when you're a coma industry, 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 you're a coma no, 2016. 2016. Yes, 2016. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was so green, man. Mm. So, <laughs> I didn't even know what to dress when you go for, you know, safaris. Me see why you end up, you end up safari. Oh, you end up to, like, you end up to me, you end up to me. I just, but they are coming and explaining exactly what I was expected to do, what to carry. Yes. Me and my brother, my uncle, 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 so so when it was uh we stayed there for like we 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 toured Kenya just you know um talking about romantic destinations mm -hmm. nene. Mm -hmm. so it was in that trip I was like god I, I'd want to do this like forever Sometime. like I'd, mm -hmm. if there was just a way I could do this mm -hmm. let's go to office it to Man. eight to five mm -hmm. yes so uh in that trip so I met I met this man I, I I think that man, I I hold him with so much respect because mm. he's like my dad. Yes. We we met there in that trip. Mm -hmm. So kulikuwa na, like your trip kulikuwa na, like nika basi, like two vehicles. Mm -hmm. So one was, you know, Joe Alois, I hype. And then this yes. other vehicle, likuwa tuna come, said, calm, chill. For yeah. some reason, God alifanya niende, nika, nikuwe comfortable kwa this other side. Like, yeah, calm. calm mm. And every person i met in that in that vehicle mm. actually like had my like was tied to my destiny wow wow so um so like the importance to ya kujua like ku feel sa zingine tu ku resist like mm. just walk up because yes. you never know what god is leading you to sometimes the things that we think are it are mm -hmm. not it yes and the things that so now I met this man. Mm. So we are talking, he's guiding me. You know, jumping or green. So and I'll go and guide you when you go to media, this is what you're supposed to ask. Mm. Da, 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 da. So I asked him, mm. What does he what do you do? Mm. I'm the editor for travels in People's Daily. Wow. So Ah, so many kasema, eh, by the way, I see you and I want to go. Can I just write? Like, can I just be sending articles? Atam sponilipa, mm. just let me write and have a portfolio. Yes. Aka sema atafikiria. Mm. Eh, me ni kana ni kaomba. <laughs> Kambia me si eni kwa tsa ukifikiria hapo hivyo. <laughs> Nenda kambia mungu akusumo usiku. Yeah. So, so, and then in the morning when you're having breakfast, you say, let's start with this trip. Mm. So I was so excited. Mm. Excited like Chris Jukonika. Mm. <laughs> Jukonika out to the gazette. Mm. But but he was he was gracious enough wow. to mentor me like how to write, mm -hmm. you know, uh, how to look for stories, what questions to ask. Mm. 
So once I finished that story, you know, so more other other more stories came. More coming up, like yeah. Zili come to mm-hmm. once I took that step, I didn't even know um how it was going to turn up. And yes. it, and after that travel now I said writing other human interest stories mm-hmm. and of course ranting in my Facebook and mm-hmm. my my blog I've, I've okay I've, it's, I haven't attended to it for long because mm-hmm. now do pressure kazi you have yes. to look for mm-hmm. unga nini nini mm-hmm. but yeah but but from there on now that's how it grew to mm-hmm. you know writing for mm-hmm. people for my mm-hmm. yani Different like you just articles. yeah mm-hmm. yes you you are you are in an industry that is very male dominated mm-hmm. actually said you kuna kuwa na balance mm-hmm. actually it's a comedy industry because Before when I was growing up, when I was younger, mm-hmm. even on TV, yeah. the many faces you would see were, were men, mm-hmm. guys, as in even shows like Vyoja Mahakamani, kidogo pale, mm-hmm. zili kwanga, uh, the main, main guys, main cast mm-hmm. are males, mm-hmm. very few ladies. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you are in an industry which is male dominated. Mm-hmm. How, how are you able to uh, maneuver your way through that industry? Ah, yes. so... Uh, Let, let me give you a story first yes so my uh, my now he was now the man that I was talking to you about yes, yeah. you know going out mm-hmm. like going to travel to places to do stories is yes. actually a risk yes so sometimes they would look at a place like mm-hmm. a situation or mm-hmm. a security circle like utatoboa because mm-hmm. I'm, as if we can send a man there mm-hmm. and i'm like I can go like mm. you know it's mm. it's no big deal I can mm. I can go it's just to take care of myself mm. you know but you you I've realized like when you're in a and you see since also it's, it involves a lot of travel and yes. at my age most women are married and yes. you know marriage too like makes women most women decide not to you know continue. not to continue mm. naona and tafanya for a certain level and mm or something or yes. probably the husband mm-hmm. is not um is not uh, accommodative to your career and all very true so i think those are the things that make women make us be shy less off. yeah shy mm-hmm. of the fact that people want to have families and mm-hmm. they feel like their roles um that role will make them not um i hope i'm answering the question yes yes you are yeah mm-hmm. so they feel that the role, that role will make them miss out on family miss out on their mm. wherever mm. and also probably the pressure in the newsroom as well mm-hmm. so you find um uh, people are not able to cope mm. you know even the demand the probably um time mm. the time that you're supposed to be there ku report nini nini kutoka mm. like mm. i call flexible mm. Mm. so you find that women on a dimia uko numbers yes but um but for me uh, for me the fact that um i still don't have a family mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um it gives me that liberty and freedom to just travel and forget about you know many things yes and and the fact that, and you know i thank god that i found this now and i found myself now mm-hmm. because of course it will inform the kind of person that you want to bring in yes um you'd want someone who is very adaptable mm-hmm. and and to understand that i i understand the weight that i carry yes in the marketplace yes that's what you call it in the church yes yes that if if i don't do this role mm-hmm. other young women will, will not be, be able to mm-hmm. see that it's doable yes um they will shy off and mm-hmm. then they'll meet this guy who lied to them that nini nini ndakufungulia nini 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 and then he won't but mm-hmm. and then their destiny will be killed just like that that's like la- mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. but if they see other me other women doing this they will be like oh so it's doable mm-hmm. and you can actually build your career fast mm-hmm. right now just build your career fast yes yeah mm-hmm. build your career fast because that's the only stable thing you have yes mm-hmm. you know when if things fail you have your career you have your career, your career is your dignity your yes. career is what gives you respect yes your career is what will make you stand out as a statistic yes. you know when when they say we have less women you'll mm. say no, no i'm here sure. mm. and i'm making an impact mm. uh, 
not just for me to earn money but also to the society I very think correct I've, I've... very correct well answered mm. what is a popular myth yenye watu wakikuona kama Harriet mm-hmm. oko zile za mimi kwa mabarak people people think uh, Isaac is carrying a lot of loose change ready to give me <laughs> any time I ask him so what's, oh, what's a popular myth that people have for media personalities like you Ooh, you mm-hmm. know I have Oh, alafu kwanza wewe huh? una travel sana. <laughs> you travel kidogo kidogo kwa Mombasa ni kidogo kwa wapi? So my first assumption uh-huh. for you uh-huh. would be uh-huh. as Barack would be uh, at least to pay one of your vacations ni kuende tu Azim. No na hiyo tu. That's the first myth. Hiyo kwanza. <laughs> That's the first myth. Uh-huh. So people think I have uh, I have a travel column. Yes. Um in the newspaper. Mm-hmm. I'm privileged to have it. And mm-hmm. also like I've been privileged God has graced me to be able to talk about travel not just mm-hmm. in Kenya but in the world. Yes. If you see mm-hmm. um you know uh with the France mm-hmm. whatever media mm-hmm. with the US media mm-hmm. I it's God, yes. right? Like mm-hmm. from from just watch being in my auntie's Yes. small office Southern, just seeing it on uh whatever on the screen not mm-hmm. knowing that god will use me to impact the industry like this yes so so bado pesa itakuja so so watu akikuona hivyo afikiria ah this guy has money mm-hmm. <laughs> this lady has money mm-hmm. so that's the first thing yes. so you find um they don't understand you're building a brand yes. still yes so unapata ma inbox mm-hmm. nisaidie na sg nini 5000 nisaidie na 2000 ni save nda kulipa <laughs> and at that time i i don't have money mm-hmm. you know i'm building this thing you yes. know yeah. and then they assume that mm-hmm. that even as i travel i travel as holiday but mm-hmm. it's not holiday it's work it's work even if probably niambwe let him to moja it's work mm-hmm. like i am when we are there i'm not expecting you to just sit in the in the room and mm. lounging i expect you probably to help me take photos or yes. help me do something but mm. not just sit down mm. and have fun and have mm. fun because mm. it's really work mm. like you can go to a uh, probably a place mm-hmm. like uh, uh, whatever and you wake up from 4 to like hizo photos napiga ni zile moments a 5 minutes break so that's how it's happening it's really you take inter, you do interviews mm-hmm. you exp, you have an experience of your place when you're in a car mm-hmm. unajua kama kuna attractions mnaenda ama mna itinerary mna cover mm-hmm. so it's really really work mm-hmm. but most people will think ah who manzi ana nini poa na sg nini 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 and they don't understand that it's work mm-hmm. So what to monaskia ni kazi sio vacation peke yake sio vacation and then the other thing also as a woman people assume that i have like sugar daddies you know like um sana service wana nani like and then and as travel kila nani ana anampiga photo like that's the I guess nimeona kwa timeline yako sana nani anampiga photo You know so ukafo uh, so I just laugh like, I love laughing it off and mm. turning it into you know mm. something creative. Yes. And sometimes I might just you know take this guy from Zuwa and just mm. you know just play around with their minds mm. of course but mm. of course I don't have a yes. sugar daddy. Yes. I I I believe in God mm. as in at this rate mm. like I I don't think there's so please help me god yes chatu hadi yote kwa sababu juu temptation gani ile shetani anaweza kupelekea hapa mbele but so far so good mm. the goodness go, the way i've seen god's goodness in my life the mm. way i've seen him open doors mm. the way i've seen him make me meet people who i never thought i'd meet mm. the way he he opened doors that people just shut on your face because yes. they think mm. that you don't deserve mm. to be there mm. you're not it but he just goes around and opens it and to show them that I'm God and I'm behind her Amen. I I don't think there's a man who can actually fit to do like mm. Sidani even if you have money from Sijiwa I don't mm. think you can you can convince me mm. that much Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I um like when I say that I I really get emotional because 
God has brought me from far. You can imagine. Yeah. You can imagine walking around with those bags in town mm-hmm. up to mm-hmm. where I am. Mm-hmm. And 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 just seeing him move like that. Alafu wone tu mtu anakuandikia hapo at at sugar daddy. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you, you do know where I've come from mm-hmm. to even you know such sugar daddies ndo sasa nakuja saa wanaanza so now once they've seen you shine yes. so wanaona ni kind they can associate with you mm-hmm. now cuz mm-hmm. you look like this lady who can mm-hmm. you know match our standards at kitembea naye mahali but if you're not there even when i was struggling you mm-hmm. you're just seeing the end pro- I, I, it's this is not even my end it's mm-hmm. even my beginning cuz god has a lot wow you see wow so it's uh, yeah So that, it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. You didn't just pop up from somewhere and Yeah. I I I I love your story. I'm actually quite encouraged because mm. personally ata mimi pia sijasoma media. Mm. Nimesomea something totally different from what I am doing right mm. now. And I think God is slapping me into media as in wewe hauko unafaa kukua huko. You thought this is where you want to be. This is where you need to be. Yeah. Nimependa kwenye ume insist the mm. fact that you thought you mm. wanted to be in enter into politics yeah. and be there become a CS or something yeah. but i love the fact that you you accepted mm. that this is where god wants you to be yeah i i for me mm. that's my takeaway mm. from this show that's my takeaway what at fanya pop quiz because mm-hmm. naona director wangu anafanyia time 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 mm-hmm. so uh, pop quiz pop quiz ni simple mm-hmm. eh, karibu ni umo limi pop quiz ni simple so you just tell us uh, number one. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is fish, but I also love fries. Uh-huh. Like anywhere mm. any day I love fries. fries. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but you love fish also. Yes, I love fish also. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Favorite na jume travel sana. Eh eh. Kudiliko. Lakini what is your favorite destination? Sasa outside In Kenya, Kenya or outside? Outside. In outside I would really love to travel to Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. Why? I don't the sand dunes. Mm-hmm. I see, you know, the photos that come out. Mm-hmm. The cities are so beautiful. Wow. Wow. And Egypt. Mm. Like I just love I just and West Africa as well. And West Africa. my West African mm-hmm. countries. Nigeria. Nigeria, Ghana. Eh, mm-hmm. hey, the, the culture. The culture. I'd want to experience wedding ya Nigeria na mm. ni kwa sababu napenda tu venye wana through pesa hivi hivi. Kwa sababu kwa pesa. Dollars. Tuendele. Mm-hmm. Favorite mobile phone app you know to me asana. Then natumia sana ni Instagram na TikTok kwa sababu eh, TikTok mm. kwa sababu napata watu wengi wanaongea so mm. sometimes I'd see issues you mm. know pop up Instagram yes. ni kwa sababu ya napenda kuona venye watu wamechukua photos and mm. also probably new destinations coming up. Mm. So your yes. mm. favorite movie favorite movie guy ni mingi ah mm. uh, ha kuna ingine inaitwa my niger christmas okay, okay. Niger i'm what i confess mm. i love niger uh, whatever netflix oh nice uh-huh. not all uh-huh. but some are really good good uh-huh. like but they have eh unaweza kufocus on niger ni pay addiction niende hapo <laughs> really is... really nice and again yeah fine i think fine wine fine wine mm, still really nice. nigerian mm. okay so as a twendele favorite pet and have you ever had a pet favorite pet is a cat Mm-hmm. But as as I grow older no na cats ni kama pia zinasumbuanga sa zingine because <laughs> because ni ko very materialistic zataka tu kuja sale kuna food mm-hmm. na supposedly a food utapata zimekuibia kuisha <laughs> so i'm just debating whether i love pets mm-hmm. or sasa ni still thinking i'm still and after chiwani liambua ati ati, ati pa month ndakwa natumia 20000 kulisha mm-hmm. so no, what kiria hapana <laughs> 2000 your pesa inaweza ifanye kazi muhimu hey no okay okay so, so thank you so much for coming to the show mm-hmm. na feel to you time imekin yes you 30 minutes kuzi na kaki dogo eh uh, but thank you for coming to the show mm-hmm. uh, i believe people will be inspired by your story yeah. so as we wrap up the show you can give your parting shot on your camera maybe uh, kuna mtu maybe anataka kuingia into writing but mm-hmm. hajui how do i go about this uh-huh. you can just tell them So you like the camera? Uh, yes, yes. So if you want to start uh if you want to join like the writing career, 
first you have to start it has to start from the heart you know if you don't have that passion um your passion to ku sustain even when you are in your darkest moments because sometimes you can write without pay you know you'll write and people will insult you and say what you've said is crazy but if you if you have that passion it will sustain you so we start with the passion and then that passion will, will sustain you to the point where now you are an authority in it now people start recognizing it now nanza kupatia sasa pesa and you start having recognition of tukaizo and also please trust the process and usi don't compare your path with someone else mimi naweza kuwa nimekuambia path yangu kuna wengine like in two years they were they, are, they were far like they are further even than me na mimi may take like so many years so don't compare your your path with someone else walk walk your path pray a lot pray for god to guide you pray for divine help when you talk about divine helpers connections connections i'm a helpers mm. because um in the on this earth god blesses you through people mm. and if you don't there are people that god brings in your life that uki uki wa like by you just you know connecting to them si semi ukwe at a user please don't use people don't don't be that person who steps on people to get to where you am to kama likfungulia mlango make sure you maintain that relationship like unless ni mungu tu amekata you know nowadays no na watu wana Yes, like when I cut off what to toxic nini nini <laughs> but just be honorable you know mm. if someone helps you help others as well mm. maintain your relationship mm. you know mm. yeah and 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 just trust god in the process mm. as i see easy skudanganyi mm. like it would happen like tomorrow mm. but uh, just fill yourself with inspiration and you'll get there amen amen thank you so much harriet for coming to the show yeah. i have been inspired Uh, and i will not expire what to toxic hapana tunasema what to toxic lakini hatuta tusiende venye mmesikia akisema tusiende uki step on people uki move uh, so that was all from us here at sanana mitindo i had an amazing guest this show was very emotional karibu nilie nitoe mashishio lakini sijaria so see you next time here on sanana mitindo wema tv every 8 pm on wednesday for now and you